Oh look, my mouth moves. It's amazing. What technology? Welcome to the Black Death. My lord. We are the righteous. We are the virtuous. And we will not back down. It is time to prepare for battle. What did you have your Abs skill on? Hi. Look at this. Do you want some of this, you bastard? Hang on. <clears throat> Just testing it on your knackers. Yes! <laughs> Hey! 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 He's... Hey! What are you doing, bitch? Hey! Pack that in! Pack it in! Oi! You fucking bitch! You fucking bitch! <laughs> bitch! <laughs> I'm dead, Stu, are you? Stu! Hang on! <laughs> Look at you eating a wit stick! <laughs> I heard that! You fucking went down, I was, I was looking at your camera view. Hello and welcome to the Black Death. Yes, this is an, a multiplayer MMO that's currently still in alpha. And we just happened to be surfing around on the tube, like you do, with a few of my friends. And we saw this and we thought, do you know what, it looks quite good, because we were looking at a trailer for of Gods and Men. And we used to enjoy Reign of Kings, we had our own server for a while. It's one of those games we come back to every now and then. Um, so this looked quite good, it looked like there was a lot of crafting in it, and it has a real dirty, gritty, black death feel to it. So if you like games like Reign of Kings and Rust and games like that, you're probably going to really like this. Now it's 14 99 on Steam, but if you look around on Kingwin and a few other sites, you can actually get this for about six, seven pounds. And as you can see on screen, you can be a beggar, a peasant, a merchant, a militia. You can then turn into a smithy, a monk, and a hunter. And each one's got their own specialties in game, and you can rename your character. And it's online multiplayer, kind of a, I guess, a persistent world. You can buy your own houses, you can buy your own castles and things like that. And it really is, shall we say, quite a long grind to get the items that you want. I think that's a good way of putting it. As you can see on screen here, I've actually come in as a peasant. Um, I've actually come in with my mate Stu, so it's a matter of trying to find each other. As you can see, graphics are really quite nice. However, it does need a lot of optimization on Ultra. I have got a bit of a beast of a rig, and it does slow and stutter in quite a few places, actually. Now, the map is quite large. There's quite a, a big area on there. It does take you quite a while to run across. As you can see here, there is a full items in here, of food, a clothing, a tools, and it really does take you a long time to find these things, and everything really is hard to find. Right, I'll drop it on floor here. Go on. Uh, cooked meat. Drop. There. Got it. Go Questionable. <laughs> it's questionable, yeah. Well, it has been on the floor for a start. Now, from what I can gather from playing this game, you can have up to 50 players per server. And there wasn't a huge amount of players on the server when we actually jumped in. There was a lot of quite, well, probably 15, 20 servers listed. And in this server, there was only 5 or 10 people on. Now, that didn't sound like a lot, but we did actually see some of these other people running around. So I think more people are joining at a later point. More people on the server, the busier it gets. Kind of like a magnet. Now there are towns and castles, and you will have to go to smithies, tanners, um, probably carpenters and all sorts. There seems to be quite a lot in this game. And even just finding and crafting a basic tool such as the pickaxe is not an easy thing at all. You're going to have to find it, and of course you have to worry about the other players who can kill you at any point in the game. Hey, what? Stu, Stu, <coughs> some real players here. How do you speak to them? I don't know, how do you type? Hello. Do any of you have cloth? Hey, V. Hello. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. We are, no. we, are, uh, we are very new to this. We've only been in here for probably 20 minutes, so... Yeah. Actually, no. How do we find um, places to farm, do you know? Hey, farm. There's our farm, just where I'm pointing up there. Uh, you can get uh, like a whole. Uh, have you got seeds with you? Yeah. 
No, right, um, come with me. This is, uh, I don't trust him. There's, there's something not right about this, Stu. It looks very cool. shifty to me with an haircut like that. You don't trust? No, uh, he's, he's got a weird haircut. <laughs> come on. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. we're role playing, you shifty, see. Yeah. yeah, a bit shifty, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, either way, you've got your hand on mm -hmm. your hip either. It's a little bit camp for my liking. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I've got, I've got a knife yeah. on my hip as well. Yeah, I know, I'm looking at mm -hmm. it. It's you terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. It's upside down as well. Yeah, which is even worse. I want to know what you're going to chop off. It shows, it shows I'm mental. Hey. Where's the It's up here, or is it? Or is it? It's just, um, over there. Please, my lord, we mean no harm! Come, oh poor peasants, I show you the way. Have mercy, my lord, <laughs> have mercy! <laughs> ah. We the mean you no harm! <laughs> we were born a peasant, sire, now we will gone, die a peasant! Uh, filthy peasant! Thank you for your compliments, your sire! Eye. Your words mean nothing. We are nothing, your lord. Ah! I see farms. I see farms. Yeah. Now we really have come into this game blind. And that's part of the fun, I guess. You know, we don't really want to go onto the wiki or Google and start finding out how we do things. Such as this, we found a farmland. We realised that we both had seeds. I had, uh, was it wheat or barley? And Stu had cabbages and turnips, I think it was. So we found this farm, but of course now we found the farmland. We don't know whether this belongs to somebody else, whether it's a character, because in game you can buy property. This could be somebody's farm, and we could get into trouble for it. Early at the beginning, you saw me, well, and Stu get our heads caved in. This could have been because I attacked Stu, somebody didn't like it, or whether it was because we both stole fish from down at the harbour. It actually puts a bounty on your head. These are all things that we don't know about, and it's all part of fun, I guess, of jumping in. Another thing you're going to do is it's going to struggle to find each other. There's no compass, obviously, so that's part of the fun as well. What we can gather from is there are a multitude of weapons in here. Crossbows, swords, body armor, you name it. But it's going to take you a long time. You're going to have to gather resources, iron, or then you're going to have to see a smithy. And from what we've seen, the smithies are actually real players in-game. There's also monks which can make mead, and each character has got their own specialty shall we say now there is an inventory system as you can see but neither of us are sick because we've only just come in and uh, we could both do something to eat but as peasants you've literally got to scavenge and find and with it being the plague and the medieval era a lot of the food that we're finding that's been left around is let's just say it's not the best thing you want to eat it can make you sick there's also an unlock system where you can rank up, such as for the monk to make mead and things like that. And for us, well, not quite sure, to be honest with you, but that's all part of the fun, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, Mr. Monk's going again. Honour, my lord. What? Could you spare a coin for a peasant, my lord? Begging. Yeah. <laughs> the game clearly is early access. That's quite obvious once you jump in. As I've already had at least three or four crashes, but do you know what? It, it doesn't really take away from the experience. As I say, this is early alpha, so we've got to come to expect these things. I think the game's got some huge potential. I like the fact that it takes you a long time to actually get anything rather than just chopping down a couple of trees, a couple of stones and then you've got an axe. It's not quite as simple as that. There seems to be a lot more involved. You do have the full crafting system and the upgrade system for the beggars, the militia and all the other little classes that are in there. I don't always give me an onion and a stick. There must be some sort of local tradition around here. But so far, a little bit of fun and something different. And no, I won't be churning out loads of Black Death videos unless I can get four or five of us on together. Something different. Of course, we love Squad, and I will be doing more Squad videos. But for now, I'm Beggar, and I've been Skintus Paratus. Trying to survive the Black Death. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. If you don't mind, I've got a go. Cave, somebody's head in with a turnip and shove a carrot up their ass. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. What? What trickery is this? Get fucked!